Hi everyone, I'm Eric Lempel, Director of PlayStation Network Operations and Strategic Planning, here with your preview of Firmware Update 3.0. As you may know, this firmware was recently announced in GamesCon, and let's take an in-depth look at the features. So the first thing you'll see when you come online is that the XMB has been slightly redesigned. We've added a lot of things to make it easier for you to understand where you are on the XMB and what some of the different functions do. And we've actually replaced the info board with something completely new called What's New. So let's go over there and take a look. So I'm going to go over to the PlayStation Network icon on the cross media bar, and this is where this will be located. And this will actually come up as the first thing when you start up your PS3. And we're going to populate this with new information on a regular basis. So as you can see today, I've got lots of information from the world of PlayStation. There's information from the PlayStation Store, from PlayStation Home. We've got a section for Pulse. We're talking about PSP Go, Little Big Planet Game of the Year. There's a lot we can do with this. So for example, with Little Big Planet, if I click on this, we're going to go over to the official game site on the web browser for this game. If I were to click on the PlayStation Store icon, we'll go directly to the store. And if we were speaking about a specific game in the PlayStation Store, we would link directly over to that game. So this will really make it easy to bring things to the surface and help you find the latest and greatest quickly. Another thing we can do is link to videos. So I'm gonna go over to Pulse and I can click on that and it'll immediately start playing Pulse. On this edition of Pulse. Another great feature of the What's New section is to easily navigate to the last games you were playing. So once you start playing games on disc or games you've purchased through PlayStation Network, they'll be on the What's New section and you can click over to them and immediately launch into those games. So it's really easy if you were playing a game last night and came back the next day, those games will be right here so you can jump right back into the action. So another thing you can do is go over to the game section and we've actually added the PlayStation Store icon here as well. So this will take you directly to the game store and the latest and greatest there. So as you can see here we've got a bunch of different items highlighting what's new in the PlayStation Store, and just other games in general. And if you click on any of these games, you'll link directly to their official game sites or their section in the PlayStation Store. And we've done the same thing for the video icon. So this makes it easy to get over to the video section of the PlayStation Store. And again, if you click on this, we'll be highlighting some of our newest releases available for rental and purchase, and you can link directly to those items to check them out. Another thing you'll notice is that there's some more animation behind the scenes on the XMB. As you can see, there are these sparkles kind of bouncing around in the background. And again, if you don't like the new look of the XMB, the old classic look is available, and you can change that in the theme section. The next thing you'll immediately notice is in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. So if you take a look up there, if you see Kratos, that's my current avatar, Next to that, you've got the friend icon and the number of friends online. And then you'll see a piece of mail if you have any messages waiting from any friends on PlayStation Network. So this is a lot of the information you'd want to see on a regular basis, and it's in a much better place. And then, of course, under that, we've got a little ticker with all the latest news from PlayStation Network. So let's go a little further down the XMB to take a look at something new in the themes area. So we've added the ability for developers to create dynamic themes. So a lot of you are using different themes today that are available through the PlayStation Store, and now we're taking these to the next level. Here's an example of what a little big planet theme would look like using this new functionality. So I'm going over to theme settings, and you can see over here I've got the theme, and then I'm going to select this little big planet theme. And this is what this would look like. So as you can see, it's completely dynamic. Everything's moving. It's going to change with the time of day or other different things going on. So there's a lot of flexibility here. You're going to see a lot of these coming out in the next few months and they'll be available on the PlayStation Store. Now, of course, all the themes you have today from the past will work as well. And these are just new options available to you. Another great thing you'll be seeing in the next few months are the availability of avatars. So we're going to add tr a tremendous amount of new avatars to the PlayStation Network over the coming months. That's enabled in Firmware Update 3.0, and we'll have free and premium avatars available through the PlayStation Store. So it's a new place to get avatars, and you'll be seeing all of your favorite characters and other items from the world of PlayStation. So we hope you enjoy this early look at Firmware Update 3.0. We'll be rolling this out soon, and as always, we look forward to your feedback.